Leak skin has kind of been the tallest thing, you know, for the past five years, I guess, at least. I just like the place a lot. It's a beautiful place, and you probably have like 14 hours of shooting, so you can just go out, build something, you chill, you ride, you find something new, like it's not this full-on stress about sun going down or stuff like this, because you can just cruise on forever until 10 in the evening, so good place. Sweden is flat, and then as soon as it's mountains, that's Norway. It feels like the Swedish people, they just, ah, we, fuck this, you know, like, I'm fine right here, I don't want to walk this mountain. Which makes it actually illegal to snowmobile in there, but that's more or less where the nice terrain is. Which is cool, because if you just break the law a little bit, you can just cross over into Norway and you have even better spots and uh, way less sled tracks. But there's always this slight chance that a helicopter will come up and give you like the biggest ticket ever for sledding in Norway, but lucky again this year. One of the best spots is actually just the, the Norway jump. It's just a good jump, like I don't know, 20, 30 meter jump, like slowly falling down and pretty good airtime actually. And I enjoy hitting this one, I have to say. And I haven't jumped in a long time, so it's a nice feeling to go through the air again. Then it got warm, middle of May, and then we go to this classic spot with the rocks that I actually go every year there because it's pretty fun to find new ways of riding those rocks. And I have to tell you the truth that it's getting harder and harder to do new things that are actually better or bigger than the ones I already did because we went through all the spots now basically. And the favorite spot that I ever did was actually this wall ride that we hit again this year. I did like a cab one back three back in the days there. And that's one of my favorite shots of all time, I think. Uh, and I had this idea to go back and do a, some kind of hand plant on it. When he's stoked, you know, like, yeah, it's gonna work. 50%, I feel like, okay, Kali, you're dumb. And 50%, I feel like, whoa, like, this guy, like, might be a little bit crazy, you know? But on that spot, he surprised me when he uh, ended up landing one of those hand drag backside threes. It was quite tough on the legs, hard impact. I like this shot. I'm, I like the rider spot as well because it's, it's very unique and it's cool the way it goes together with the wall and the, and the landing and perfect. Mm -hmm. 